Welcome to the Rickroll Iceberg. Be prepared to be Rickrolled while learning about the unexplainable history of Rick Astley's song, Never Gonna Give You Up. The song was released in 1987, which was 35 years ago, and somehow the song has turned into an internet meme that would last over 20 years, being one of the first big memes. And it is still widely known here in 2022, unfortunately. Basically, this started somewhere between 2006 and 2008, but it's highly debated who started this internet phenomenon. But luckily for you, that is what we're going to be talking about today. So if you want to learn how and why this all started, or if you just want to get some weird info on random Rickwells over the past 20 years, stay tuned. These topics are going to be pretty well known and simple. Nothing too scary or spooky, just kind of average things that you'd find on the internet. So if you guys aren't American or you're just very uncultured, you might not know what the Mets are. It is the New York baseball team. And uh, yeah, it's a big deal because New York is one of our big cities. Anyways, sometime around 2008, the Mets arena decided to play the Never Gonna Give You Up song by Rick Astley. This basically Rick rolled up to 40,000 people in this arena at once just in 2008 too. So this was like literally when the Rick rolling just was starting to occur. So yeah, this is a pretty simple topic, but it happened. And that is why it is the very first thing we're looking at. So I have a whole video on this topic and it kind of went viral thanks to some of our next topics. There are basically two big YouTube ads that were actually Rick Rolls in Disguise. Here's the first one that I found and it was actually back in 2019, despite some unbelief. And the video that I found of this was posted by Ann Ian or Ann Ian, whatever you want to call yourself. This guy was able to record this Rick Roll. He wasn't the founder of it from what I can see, but he just recorded it onto his channel. The reason this is interesting is because copyright is a thing and getting your ad approved to actually go through means that someone most likely has to manually review it and approve the Rick Roll. So for some reason, some employee at YouTube decided to allow this going through and uh, yeah, a lot of people got Rick Roll. Fast forward several years, the Tech at Realm does basically the same thing but better. Basically, he went through the entire process of making an ad again, but he tried to make it unskippable because he was able to get the ad closer to 15 seconds, so he literally couldn't skip it. You just got rickrolled every time. And yeah, this guy actually spent a lot of money, from what it seems, just to rickroll people like you and me. Get rickrolled. Alright, so we've already talked about him a little, but yeah. Here's his channel. If you guys take a look, there is a lot of Rickroll content, so we had to throw him on the iceberg. Honorable mention to Timeworks, but for now we're talking about the tech at Rome. So let's take a quick look at his channel and see some of his biggest videos. If you guys change this little thing to most viewed, you guys will see this video. It's his most popular video ever. Besides another like live stream, but yeah, this was like his most popular Rickroll content. And it was actually him rickrolling as many celebrities as he could for a Guinness world record. This video actually did really well on YouTube and grew his channel a ton and turned it kind of into what it is today. I think he's been doing this for about a year and it's been doing really well for him. But yeah, that video got like 5 million views somehow and he's been riding that wave ever since. If you guys enjoy rickroll content, go check him out. Alright, this is a pretty simple topic. Basically, Ralph is a character from a video game that just so happened to get featured in Ralph Breaks the Internet. This was a movie trying to keep up with the internet trends since that was the main topic of the movie in the first place. So, of course, they had to get in touch with the internet culture and throw in a Rick Roll. Thank you, Disney. All right, another pretty simple topic, which is all this layer of the iceberg is for anyways. Basically, someone edited the Never Gonna Give You Up video and made it depressing. If you guys actually listen to it, the lyrics have been completely altered to basically be the exact opposite of what Rick Astley wanted. Rick Astley, in this video at least, is saying he's gonna give you up. Yeah, big sad. Welcome to the surface. The information here will be a little less well known and maybe just slightly more spooky. So this was posted on the Foxy channel. If you guys actually like look into the description in the comments of this, you'll get a lot of good information on how this actually 
occurred. It appears to be fake though if you guys read his pinned comment, but it still got 5 million views, which is huge. And if that was like monetized views, that is at the very least $5,000 right there. But from what it looks like, he reused news content, so yeah. They probably copyrighted that and took that money. Basically from what I gathered, he edited the Never Gonna Give You Up song and made it sound like the actual bell inside of the Big Ben. It actually went pretty well together and looked like it was actually from the news. Great edit, great meme, welcome to 2008. So this all started back in 2020. What a great year, am I right? Basically, YouTube posted this and uh, our hero Ethan enters the chat and comes into play. He ends up responding to YouTube's tweet and posts this link. It's a link of like puppies, so everyone wants to click on that. Maybe even YouTube does. And yeah, YouTube clicked on it and Ethan rickrolled YouTube. And we know that YouTube was rickrolled because they posted this. So yeah, YouTube got rickrolled on Twitter by Ethan. Thank you, Ethan. All right, around Thanksgiving every year, America has this thing called the Macy Day Parade. Everyone has watched this in America, or they were forced to, and um, yeah, it's part of your Thanksgiving tradition. Anyways, back in 2008, Rick Astley decided to rickroll everyone, or Cartoon Network, I don't know. Basically, how things worked was Cartoon Network had a float in this parade, and it was just their own thing, and then randomly, the music changes from whatever they were playing to never gonna give you up. And it turned into a Rick roll with the actual Rick Astley on live television. This was also like 2008, so this was when Rick rolling was at its like biggest point ever. It was very popular, and everyone knew about it. It was basically the first meme, sorta. All right, this is a, a spooky topic. Basically, someone inverted the music video and edited the sound to the song to make it sound scary. Here's like a two second clip because I don't want to get demonetized. Yeah, it's actually creepy too. It's one of those videos that you watch ironically and then realize that it's actually a little creepier than you thought. Especially whenever you're used to the actual song because you've probably heard it way too much. Hearing it in this different remix is a little unsettling. Welcome to under the surface. At this point there's minimal light and things will become a little more unexplainable and even more creepy. Or Rick Rolly. I don't even know what's going on. Alright, so this video was from 2010, which was somehow 12 years ago already. Basically, this was a coordinated attack in New York. Alright, that sounds wrong. Uh, a bunch of guys decided to Rick roll people on a subway. Let's just get that out there before YouTube just like yeets my channel into the, the darkness. So basically this is where a bunch of friends called On The Rocks decided to sing the Never Gonna Give You Up song in a subway. Mind you, this was 2010 right after the big surge of Rick rolling and kind of before the next big surge of Rick rolling. So a lot of people were probably just clueless. But yeah, I have no idea who the On The Rocks are, but I assume it's just a group of singers that do this. But yeah, they're actually pretty talented and they did a really good job and they were just filming themselves doing this on the New York subway. All with just their voices, mind you. But yeah, if you guys watch the video, it's pretty entertaining because it is yellow and that's how you guys know it's from 2010. But a lot of the people were just confused in the random singing of the song and they were probably even more confused to see a camera in their face in 2010. I think these guys were born in the wrong age and I think they would have done a lot better on TikTok here in 2022. All right, GTA 4 was released in 2008 which just so happens to be when most of the Rick Rolls happened. So when would be a better time to release a Rick Roll involving GTA? From what I can gather, this was not actually released by Rockstar or the video game creators, but it was a fan edit. I found this on this channel, the Yearly Diamond 2. I probably mispronounced that as usual. And yeah, basically it was a Rick Roll music video with GTA 4 characters which at the time was very, very popular. It would be like our GTA 5 to us now. So it went very well on YouTube. 
I did notice this comment, and if it is accurate, rest in peace to the creator of this awesome edited Rick Roll. So there are a lot of these, and you guys could go down this rabbit hole if you'd like, but there's basically a lot of videos out there that are the Rick Roll, but they have their own plot to them. So after they Rick Roll you, and they catch you off guard, they hit you with something scary. And usually at this point, you're just like, oh, I got Rick rolled, so you're not really paying attention anymore. And then they spook you. Basically, you'll just get Rick rolled and be like, oh, you got me. And then in those few seconds, they'll get you again with a clip, something like this. Something that is scary and unexpected. There are countless of these, but if you really want to Rick roll somebody and actually scare them, just search this up on YouTube and dive into this deep rabbit hole. So way back in 2008, April 1st, this happened. And yes, this is April Fools, mind you. So basically, YouTube made their front page a Rickroll. No matter what video you clicked on at the time, it linked you back to the Never Gonna Give You Up song, and countless people got Rickrolled. This was just when YouTube was starting to get popular, and just when the Rickrolling was starting to become popular, and it was just the perfect storm. And wow, YouTube actually used to be hip. Good for you guys. This is the channel that actually made this happen. It was called YT Rickrolls U, which is basically YouTube Rickrolls U. And from what I can see, this channel is actually owned by YouTube or at least one of their co-founders at the time. All right, you may be wondering what this random text is, and so am I. Just kidding, I actually know what this means. And well, just uh, search this real fast and I think you guys will understand. It's like really the only way you guys can actually explain yourself this topic. So yeah, pause the video right here and click on the link that is in the description down below that explains this or my pinned comment and I guarantee you, you guys will understand. All right, yeah, get wrecked. You guys just got rickrolled and probably clicked off my video forever. But if you guys are still here, um, yeah, next topic. Welcome to the darkness. Here, things are dark, believe it or not. These topics are a little bit more unexplainable and more interesting, and we have a few less, but we're going to go into a bit more detail on these topics. Let's start with Eric Helwig, and I, I really hope I pronounce that right. I have no idea. So this is a little debated, but basically this guy claims to be the first Rick Roller ever. His YouTube channel is called Hot Dad now, and in August of 2006, this guy claimed to have pranked a live radio station by playing the Rick Roll song. This was all done live, and if you guys check out his actual video explaining all of this, he kind of tries and give proof that this actually happened. From what I can see, he's telling the truth, and it wouldn't really make sense for him to be lying about this, so this is one of the people that may have started the Rick Roll phenomenon, Eric Helwig. All right, so this is another debated topic, and it is also a possible beginning of this meme, or at least one of the ways that it got so popular to begin with. So here's a quick blurb on 4chan and Rick Rolling. The bait and switch phenomenon had its beginning on the image board community 4chan as a spin-off of the earlier practical joke known as duck rolling, in which an external link with a sensational title would be redirected to an edited image of a duck with wooden wheels. Duck on rollers, that implies Rick rolled, but with duck, so it's duck rolled. According to 4chan founder M00T, the Rick roll phenomenon began on the video game circa May 2007, when someone posted a link to Rick Astley's music video disguised as a sneak preview for then newly released video game Grand Theft Auto 4. Due to the high buildup of the anticipation for the game at the time, many GTA fans of the slash V board fell victim to the bait and switch prank, and the joke became quite popular on 4chan. So yeah, it's up to you guys to decide who started this meme, if it was Eric or 4chan, but it seems like they're both very important for the beginning of this internet phenomenon. All right, so this is found on this channel, which is kind of titled after this video. Most likely he was like a one hit wonder here on YouTube. Uh, that feels familiar. Anyways, with the release date of 2011, 
this was a, a different era here on YouTube. Back then, editing was not as easy to do, and if you could edit, you guys could get some easy views here on this platform. You probably didn't get paid near as much as you would have now, but yeah, it was an easy way to get views, and back then, that was pretty sweet. But basically, this channel did a really simple edit where they took just clips of this Oregon house meeting and they turned it into the Never Gonna Give You Up song. So all these politicians were actually singing the song and yeah, it's pretty great, especially for being 2011. I'm sure this would have been really funny back then. But now we are all just immune to funny things and it, it just has to be extremely funny for us to even crack a grin. But yeah, this actually ended up getting 2 million views, which is pretty crazy. I think that's more views than I've ever gotten on a video, so good job to you. Welcome to The Abyss. We're going to be talking about three topics here, and these are the most interesting ones that I saved for the very bottom. So if you guys went to the original Rickroll video back like a few months ago, or maybe a year by now, you guys probably would have seen something like this. Attention, this video will be auctioned off as an NFT and removed off of YouTube. The action will take place on June 27th, 2021. For more info, click the link here. And if you guys need more information on it, feel free to click the link in my description down below or my pinned comment, as this will further explain it. Get Rickrolled again. Anyways, unless if they were Rick rolling us in the description, they basically turned the Rick Astley never gonna give you up song into an NFT, which isn't a bad idea, especially with the rise of the NFT market. And for those who don't know what NFTs are, here's a quick blurb. A non-fungible token slash NFT is a, a non-interchangeable unit of data stored on the blockchain, AKA stuff like crypto and Bitcoin Dogecoin, all those things. It's a form of a digital ledger that can be sold and traded. Types of NFT data units may be associated with digital files such as photos, videos, and audio. Because each token is uniquely identifiable, NFTs differ from blockchain cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Yeah, NFTs are basically pictures for the internet, but you can actually own them and back it up that you own it, like you have proof. It's a kind of interesting topic, and could you imagine getting to own the Rickroll video? I think that only two people on YouTube should be able to own it, and that would be Timeworks and the Tech at Realm. Alright, this is a, a bit of a weird one, and it all takes place on this forbidden YouTube channel called WebDriver Torso. Now, if you guys are a subscriber of mine, you guys have probably have heard of this channel before in some of my iceberg videos on YouTube, but basically this YouTube channel has thousands of videos that are literally just blocks that are either red or blue floating around a white screen. Thousands of unexplainable videos. No context, nothing, it is just blocks rolling around a screen. When you guys look into it, you guys will see that it's most likely just another YouTube channel owned by YouTube themselves where they're testing certain aspects of their website or testing the AI. But if for some reason you guys looked at all these videos, you'd probably come across this one titled this. So basically, if you guys find this video, you guys will notice a silhouette of someone you might find familiar, especially considering we're doing a Rickroll iceberg. It is Rick Astley himself. So WebDriver Torso basically Rick rolled people. But the fact that someone found this video is even more astonishing because they literally had to search through thousands of videos. Could you imagine watching thousands of these just to get Rick rolled? Yeah. All right, it doesn't get any better than this topic. Back to the tech at realm, of course, because he is apparently the king of Rick rolling here in the modern era. But uh, he was supposedly live streaming while all of this happened. This was right after his original Rickroll video basically went viral. Supposedly Rick Astley wanted to DM him about his success and congratulate him on the views. Throughout the DMs that the Tech at Realm somehow got a hold of, he basically sent him some fan art. And if you guys watched his Rickrolling Celebrities video, you guys would know what happens whenever he sends some fan art. It is a fake link that sends you directly to the Rickroll video. So yes. Rick Astley supposedly clicked on this video and got Rickrolled himself. The original Rickroller got Rickrolled by a Rickroller YouTuber. 
that is the Rickroll Iceberg. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely very interesting to research. Obviously not too scary like some of my other iceberg videos, but definitely very interesting to look into. And the deeper that you guys go into this iceberg, the more interesting and profound some of these topics become. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys slap that like button down below and consider subscribing if you guys want more iceberg content like this. Anyways, that is basically it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one and I hope you guys have a good one.